Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to show you guys how to get a fantastic shield for the tanky boys out there that do not want to die or do not want to take any damage or don't want a stamina penalty when blocking, then this shield is for you. The Fingerprint Stone Shield. Quite possibly one of the best shields in the game. If you have this fully upgraded and you have it with the right talisman, you can block and your stamina will not go anywhere. You can quite literally hold block until the cows come home or so the saying goes. Anyway, with that being said, if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, but let's not waste any time. This shield here, the Heavy Fingerprint Stone Shield, is described as a great stone shield with an intricately carved fingerprint design. It looks pretty cool, although it is basically just a giant stone, but this thing has, of course, 100% physical damage negation, but it also has what I believe is the highest guard boost rating in the game, or at least one of them. So this thing has fantastic blocking potential. It does have a strength requirement of 48, absolutely nothing else, so it is a strength shield, but also also, this thing can have Ashes of War applied to it, so that means you can put your own custom shield Ashes of War on this to make it even more potent. So for example, I put Shield Crash on this, which I'll show you how to get later on in this video. It's also worth noting if you use this and it's not fully upgraded, it is still a fantastic shield, but you won't necessarily benefit from the complete, perfect, no stamina loss. So if you do want to take this all the way, you'll need to fully upgrade it and pair it with the right talisman. So, how do you get this? Well, first things first, you need to turn your attention to the Altus Plateau. You're going to be going to the Citadel, and you're going to be going to this site of grace here. This is the Underground Tunnels, and you'll be going from this location. Now, it is worth noting that in order to get to where you need to be to get the shield, you'll basically need to go through this door that is right in front of you. Now, if you've been exploring, this may well be open, but I'm going to start this guide by assuming that you have not opened this door. If that's the case, what you want to do is run straight out of here and turn left, run to the very end, and you'll then be able to drop through a hole in the grate. From there, you then want to simply follow the route that I take. There's gonna be a few turns here. You're gonna be running into some tunnels. So I'll simply let this run until the end. Once you get to this location here, you want to climb the ladder and you then want to open this door in front. This is not the door that we were just looking at, the one we were trying to open, but we are very nearly there. What you also want to do is turn around and go and pull this lever because this will open the grate, which will also mean if you do happen to die, you have a quicker way to return to this location. From here, you then want to go through that door you just opened. You then want to drop down. And again, you want to follow the route that I'm taking here until you get to the end. Once you climb this ladder, you can then cross over the bridge, you can open the door, and that is the door back to the site of grace. So you are now back at the start, but it does of course mean you can now begin this route. Again, if you happen to have already had that door open, now we can begin. From this location, we're going to be going and running back through that door that we just opened, but instead of going through the archway, we're going to take a right, and we're going to jump onto the pipe, and we're then going to go and follow this route here. Again, there are quite a lot of turns, so I would highly recommend grabbing a torch, or of course, putting the little lantern on your waist, because when you drop into the lower tunnels, things do get a little dark. But you get into this room here, you'll be able to jump over the top into this pipe, and we're now in the sewage system, and if you now follow this route that I'm taking here, you will end up in a room with a lift.
Following the lift, you will then find a site of grace, which is rather convenient, because ahead of you, you will have a boss battle. It is basically a miniature version of Mog, so you can just fight him, defeat him, and then after defeating this boss, what you then need to do is not pay attention to the chest. I mean, obviously, open it and get the reward, but what you're actually looking for is to hit the altar that is behind the chest, because this will then lower this and reveal a secret passage. Now this next location is one for the platformers out there, if you guys play Mario, if you know how to jump, this is going to be good. If you don't, this might be a little frustrating. You basically need to navigate your way down, so I'm going to leave this path here, I'm going to let it play at uh, almost normal speed so you can try and sort of see where I'm jumping. You're basically dropping down off the wooden beams and then you're going to be using these poking out coffins to basically create your platforms. What we're trying to do is work our way to almost the bottom, not quite the bottom of the pit, but almost the very bottom. Because once you get down to here, you will then be able to go into this location where you see a ton of bodies and you will then basically work your way around to the right and there will be the shield to collect. However, there's a couple more things I will recommend you pick up in order to make this as good as possible. The next thing you need to do is turn your attention over to this site of grace in the Altus Plateau, that of course is the Erd Tree Gazing Hill. And from this site of grace, we are simply going to run down the hill to this little caravan, to this camp. We're going to jump over on the right, jump over the fence, and loot the back of this caravan. Doing so will give you the Great Shield Talisman, which boosts your guarding ability. In addition to this, whilst also in this location, what you now want to do is jump over back to the site of Grace, the Erd Tree Gazing Hill, and if you then go up to the right, up to where the ruins are, and you jump over towards the cliff, you can then make your way up to this top location up here, and there will be a Treasure Dung Beetle, a Treasure Scarab. Destroying this will give you God Crash, which is a fantastic Ash of War for shields, which you can then apply to this, because of course, having great God in capacity, you can then use this Ash of War to basically block incoming attacks and also attack, so it means you can be meaty, powerful, and defensive. Offensive. So there's a couple of things you can use to basically bolster the shield. But all in all, this is just a really great defensive item that again, if fully upgraded and paired with that talisman, can allow you to block with no stamina penalty. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you do have any questions, by me let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring. If you haven't seen our latest video, check out this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.